Hokey dokey. In this problem, they give us a growth rate of a town's population. P, the antiderivative of P prime, is the population in thousands of people. And very important, T is the number of years since 1990. And they ask what was the change in population from 93 to 96. Since T is the number of years since 1990, 1993 has a T value of 3. 3 represents 3 years since 1990. While T equals 6 represents 1996, since that is 6 years since 1990. So we are finding the integral from 3 to 6 of P prime. So 505T over T squared plus 1 dt. I hope you did not forget u substitution because that is what we will be using here. In this case, the higher exponent expression, the t squared, will play into identifying our u. So u is t squared plus 1 in this case. From that, we find du, the derivative of t squared plus 1, which is 2t. We tack on dt, we solve for dt by dividing by 2t. So now we have u in dt, and this allows us to rewrite the integral. We'll leave the 505t, we'll replace the t squared plus 1 with u, and an important step we cannot forget is replacing dt with du over 2t. It's in doing both of these substitutions for t squared plus 1 and for dt that we can simplify this integral so that there are no longer any t terms. So a t on top, t on the bottom allows us to cancel out t. And then we want to gather the coefficients, 505 over 2. And usually we can bring whatever those constants or coefficients are out in front. So I'll just leave it as that fraction for now. Let's think about what we have left on the inside. There's really nothing up top. We could call it du over u, but I'll call it 1 over u du. Personally, I think 1 over u helps us visualize what our antiderivative is going to be a little bit easier. 1 over u has an antiderivative of natural log of the absolute value of u. Before we evaluate this from 3 to 5, don't forget to plug back in your u and get it back in terms of t. So t squared plus 1. And we're evaluating this from 3 to 5. Keep in mind when we're evaluating from something to something, a lower bound to an upper bound, we want to plug in the upper bound first and then the lower bound second. Let's see if I can shrink all this down here. Make some space. All right. So again, we are plugging in 5 first. So we'll have 5 squared plus 1. And from that, we are subtracting the evaluation for 3. So 505 over 2 ln of 3 squared plus 1. So this is what we will evaluate using decimals. Let's do split screen. All right. So we have 505 over 2 natural log. 5 squared plus 1, so I'll just do 25 plus 1, or 26, minus 505 over 2 times the natural log of 3 squared plus 1. So 9 plus 1, so I'll just call it 10, and we get 241.3. 241.3. Now, mind you, look at these crazy answers. They're in the hundreds of thousands, and the reason is P is in thousands of people. 
so p does not just equal or like p does equal 241.3 but what this represents is not 241 people but 241 thousand people specifically 0.3 or 241,300 people so picking the closest answer to that well mm, yeah that's lovely okay let's troubleshoot real quick i don't feel like making another video i at some point switched the five to a three so that's fun. Let's change this 25 to a 36 because it should have been 6 squared. So 330 would have been our final answer. I'm sure you were shouting at me to fix that the entire time. So thanks for being on top of that. So 330.35. So 330.35 would translate to this many people. Okay. So... 330,350. Excuse my poor procedure, missing that little six there rather than a five. I don't know where five came from, but let's move on to another example or two. Same exact method integrating now from not 1992 to 1995, but from two to five of P prime. So 404 T over T squared plus one curious do all of them no they do have different functions so we'll get to an e example for the last one so again using u substitution we have t squared plus one du is the derivative which is 2t we tack on dt we solve for dt we rewrite our integral 2 to 5 404t all divided by u and then in place of dt we sub in du over 2t that allows us to cancel the t on top and bottom we gather the numbers 404 divided by 2 is 202 times the integral from 2 to 5 let me make sure that's right 2 to 5 1 over u du which has an integral of 202 ln of u from 2 to 5 but again we don't evaluate it from 2 to 5 until we get everything back in terms of t so we replace the u with t squared plus 1 all right now this is equivalent to 202 ln of 25 plus 1, so 5 squared plus 1, so 26. And then we're subtracting the 2 evaluation, which is 4 plus 1. So 2 squared plus 1 is 5. Let's get back to Desmos and do this right. So 202. Natural log of 26 minus 202. Natural log. I already forgot it. 5, natural log of 5, 333.029, and that's in thousands, so we're looking for 333.029, when we break out the eraser, we see it's option E, alright, let's keep this super fun video going with this example same exact method same process so in this case t is number of years since 95 so 2000 is represented by t equals 5 where 2001 i guess is t equals 6 integrating from 5 to 6 of 16 16 e to the t of 4 e to the t plus 1 dt we identify u. Oops. U is equal to, again, the denominator. I think it might be a safe bet in these. Don't quote me, but I think the denominator will always be your u in these problems. The derivative of e to the t is e to the t, and the 4 is just a coefficient. So it just comes along for the ride. We divide by 4e to the t. To get dt by itself, 
we rewrite the integral leaving the 16 16 e to the t on top for the time being u replaces the denominator dt is replaced by du over 4e to the t cancel e to the t's gather the 16 16 divided by 4 wonder if it would work like this if 16 divided by 4 is 4 and 16 divided by maybe 44 that can't be right 440 I don't know let's see what it is 444 maybe 16 16 divided by 4 is 404 that makes sense all right so 404 is our outer uh, coefficient from 5 to 6 and it looks like we have just 1 over u again 404 ln of absolute value of u from 5 to 6 and so uh, instead of ln of u we have ln of 4e to the t plus 1 we sub whatever u is equal to back in so now we're evaluating this from 5 to 6 plugging in 6 first then 5 so let's just do that all in Desmos Four oh four Ellen of four E to the T, which is six plus one minus four oh four Ellen of four times E to the T, which is five plus 1, and we get 403.57. And that number is in thousands, mind you, so we're looking for 403,570, or D as our answer. I hope these problems make some sense. Thanks for bearing with me. With the mistake at the beginning, I am too lazy to remake a video to do that. So I hope the last two examples made up for that. All right. If you have any questions, please let me know.